Um, well, my name is Bruno Mazzini. I'm Peruvian. Uh, most of my ancestors are Italian, though. And um, being born like in a family that is like a, a bit still rooted in the in my previous culture, I would say. I mean, it was a few generations ago, but it always made me think about uh, traveling the world and working in different places and kind of exploring. And um, I think that really influenced my, not only my career choice, but my, my choice to, to try to go to the sim because I saw that it's a very international program with people from like very different countries. And uh, Switzerland is kind of like that too, right? Um, it's a country of like 30% immigrants, I think. And, and it's really amazing, like all, the, all of the diversity that, that you find there. I think I have just in St. Gallen, which is a tiny place. I have friends from at least 20 different countries, which is crazy. And I think uh, I've learned a lot about them in that sense um, and a, a lot about cultures. Um, personally, I, I see myself as a, a, an adventurer, I think. Maybe it's a bit of a broad statement, but I like to know um, to, to make wise choices, but also to to explore and to adventure. And I think uh, going to coming to Europe from Peru, which is kind of a, a distant move, I would say, uh, has been amazing so far. And when people ask me, like, Bruno, are you planning on staying in St. Gallen? Are you planning on going back to Peru? My, my, my answer is, I don't know. And I think that's something that, that I really enjoy, like, and um, being able to confidently say that I'm going to do well wherever I go, but at the same time, not having the need to decide like right now that in five years I want to be in Peru. It's something that I really enjoy and, and that defines me a lot, I think. So I studied a, studied a business at Universidad del Pacifico in Peru with a double degree from London School of Economics, also in business. And um, I really liked it, but it was very structured. It was very, uh, very old school, I would say. I mean, great universities, both of them, but it was very like content heavy and not, uh, not very about creation. And, and my work experience was also very similar. I worked in, uh, in banking first at BBVA and then at EY as a consultant. And, and I would say that it was very about uh, very, very technical about really finding the business case and, and understanding what was the the optimal solution, but it it wasn't that uh, that that creative or that yeah that that expressive in the business sense of the word, and I think coming to to the sim, um, I kind of liked the program also because it, it had that um, option and it, it it was very much you you set up your own curriculum and. And it has courses such as business model innovation or exploring sustainability as a innovation opportunity, which are courses that that when I read the title, like thinking back to my my background of, of this is correct and this is incorrect, um, just got me very excited because it, it was about like understanding the technical frameworks that you need to create, but but really have this this uh, they they have this. Uh, view of business as an opportunity to to develop and to create new things which is again something very very fitting to me and i think some like a, an extremely pleasant surprise because when i was looking for master's degrees i i was kind of fearful of that and and when i saw the sim and and really saw that i i could study business and improve my business knowledge without like locking myself into this box of this is technically correct and this is not. I was like, this this is a program for me. I would say there's only like five or six mandatory courses in total, um, which are core courses, but like in finance and strategy and things that are very useful. Like I, I wouldn't, some of my favorite courses have been the core ones. Uh, because even though sometimes you already know what, what is being said, especially if you have a strong background in business, they give you the opportunity to go in depth. For example, in financial management, they would always say like, the people that have studied finance very deeply are going to learn more the strategic side of finance. And for the people that, that uh, never went in depth with finance, will they will get the basics and the strategic aspects. So 
for example, for me, a lot of the concepts in that course were like very understand, like I had understood them already. It uh, added a lot. And after those courses, we have to do a, like a, a volunteering project. But again, there are a lot of previous projects uh, and you get to choose. For example, I, I am organizing right now a sustainability business case challenge. And um, I think it's very interesting because um, there were many options like promoting education with children or things like that. But in my case, I was a lot about uh, greenness and really pairing that up with business and not just with NGOs. So I think when I saw that option, like it was perfect for me, but for other people, for example, there, there are options, like I said, about education, about like, uh, there, there are some about financial education for, for children and many options. Then as for the courses, again, six courses that are like mandatory for everyone. And then around 10 or even more, I would say that are for whatever you want. Then you have uh, the thesis, which again, ev like you can write it about anything you want. And I think uh, our program is especially flexible about the thesis. You have people that are writing it about startups, people that are writing it about sustainability, people that are writing it about uh, big corporations and like specific topics in that sense. So that is also very broad. And um, yeah, the, the elective courses, the ones that you can pick from, um, the, the, the range of options is very broad. I would say the only common topic that they all have is um, that they're about strategy, like applied to different fields. You have like, for example, digital transformation and the strategy that you should, should use for that. You have uh, alliances, which is about like partnering up like a big corporation or even a small company with other other companies to, to broaden your, like improve your strategic positioning. You have business model innovation, which is about like how to change your company's business model into one that is more suitable for the market, I would say. And yeah, I mean, the opportunities are, are extremely broad and, and there are even courses, contextual courses, which I guess they have them at every master's in St. Gallen, but they are even more broad. Like I took last semester one called uh, the business of media. It was like an amazing course. One, one of my interests is media. So, so I, it was really nice to learn about that. But for example, I had friends in, in the sim that were taking courses about uh, emerging markets, about, uh, I don't know, about sustainability as well. I'm taking one right now about like uh, social startups, but it's just, uh, I, I was so surprised and, and it was very, very amazing for me because like, again, coming from a more traditional background, and um, this, this idea of, of doing business, but doing business and improving yourself in the aspects of business that you're truly interested in is, is very refreshing and very motivating to me. The cohort is very small, like it's 57 people for my year and even smaller last year. And uh, we have a lot of events to integrate. And even though the, the core courses are the only ones where I have all of the people from the sim, um, I still have small groups and, and I, I still um, hang out with them like um, on a day to day. Like, yeah, it's, it's um, I would say that it's a very supportive, a very supportive community and everyone knows each other and, and even though, yeah, even though a lot of my best friends from the sim are people that are, I don't take many courses with, with that have very different interests, but St. Gallen is a tiny town, like the, the place, the, the person that lives the farthest away from me, it's like 30 minutes walking. So, so I would say it's very, very hard. I would say almost impossible not to get to know everyone from the sim. I would say for two reasons, for because of the network and because of the education itself. Like there, there are people from everywhere in the sim, and and you have to work with them. You have to work as a team, very diverse teams. They, especially in the first semester, they kind of build teams to be from very different countries, and that helps you learn already. And even though it sounds kind of simple, uh, being in a t team with people from different countries is is never that easy. You know they're very different styles of working and very different uh, styles of leadership, of cooperation. So 
And I would say in the sim, it, it really prepares you to, no matter where you go, being able to adapt. And that's that's the first side. And, and then maybe also because of that, the sim has a super broad network. Like there, I remember telling many people like they wanted to work in South America, like, hey, if you want, uh, when you like when you graduate, I can recommend you like at, at companies in Peru if you're interested in going there. And it's the same for that uh, from for everywhere. Like I'm right now going to work next semester in, in Germany, probably. And I know so many previous simis and simis from right now that are like recommending me to companies that they have worked at. And and that for me, like business in general is more about the interest that you have than the place that you are. And like the sim has people from all interests. So for me, it's startups. And now like I have simis from every country being like, hey, there are startups here that are super interesting. And and it's really this, this community that you will end up in the place that you want to end up just because there's always people there to support you. Maybe, maybe this, will, this will sound very broad, but I think every simi is impressive. Every simi is, is passionate about something. And, and I, I've been asked a couple of times already, like, hey, what does it take to get into the sim? And there is no one answer. And I think that's the amazing thing because I have friends who are like from the sim that are amazing in finance and they're really passionate about those topics. And there's the same with the, with everything. There are people really passionate about startups, about big companies, about consulting. And I think the only thing that the sim has in, in common is being passionate about something and being open-minded about everything. Like everyone in the sim is like either knows or wants to know what they want to do, like um, explore something different. And at the same time, there are people that like to talk about everything. Like I have my, I call them my consulting friends, friends that I know that are going to do consulting at least for the next 10 years. But when I talk to them about startups or, or about sustainability, they're very eager to know more about that. And they're very um, excited that that is my path or the path that I'm, I'm currently exploring. I think we have so many cities that expected to to get out of the program something and now they're learning many different things and and like just yeah gaining so much depth as, as even as people as 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 professionals as everything and um, who should apply to to the sim i would say anyone with that that willingness to learn and that willingness to to develop yourself and grow as a person because the sim i think it's so much more than just a master's that is like here's the knowledge that you need here are the latest uh, um theories that are going to be applied because i think that's something that you can learn anywhere the sim is, is a community that is always looking to improve and is always looking to grow and i'd say that anyone with that attitude will, will really thrive in the sim I've gained a lot of tools as a professional, but I've also realized what is the right mindset to have because I've seen such a diverse group of people all in different fields and all in different uh, interest areas. But I've seen a lot of things in common with them, like the, that willingness to learn and that passion for topics and that, that uh, I don't know, that attention to detail that you need for, for greatness and for, for, for excellence. And it, it made me realize that that I, I like technical abilities are extremely important, of course, but that the right being in the right mindset and being like using the right attitude is what is going to lead you far wherever you want to go. So I think it, it has definitely helped me fine tune my, my mind. <laughs>